Monica and I work um, on the primates and small mammals team here at Marwell and today I'm with our anteater Ernesto uh, who is 12 years old and he's been at Marwell since 2005 so we've had him a fair while. And Kat, you called him Ernesto but he's known as Ernie, Ernie isn't he? Yeah, we all call him Ernie um, and he responds pretty well to his name. Um, so yeah. And this is our giant anteater here at Marwell. Yeah. What on earth are you feeding him? <laughs> um, he has got yoghurt in this bottle. Um, he gets yoghurt as a bit of a compliment to his diet a couple of times a week. Uh, we feed it in bottles. He's got puzzle feeders. Um, and it's just sort of a bit of stimulation for him. He gets to use his tongue. And, uh, and yeah, it's just compliments, uh, a few extra sort of vitamins and things for him. Uh, he's making quite a mess. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we can see just how long his tongue is if we yeah, come up close. That's 50 centimetres long. Um, oh goodness. So one of the longest and it's sticky as well um, so in the wild um, he'd be eaten out of termite mounds, he'd be eating ants and termites, um, he'll break into a mound and he up to in a day can have up to 30,000. Um, he's got no teeth um, in there so he basically uses the tongue um, which as it's sticky um, gets all the insects and then uh, he basically eats them whole really. Um, but yeah they just go to um, one mound, do a little bit there, and then move on to a different one just so that they don't literally exhaust and take away all of the food that's in there. So they've got a sort of restock system, which is quite clever. Brilliant. So the anteater clearly eats, eats a lot of ants, lot of as ants. well as yoghurt every now and again. Yeah. Um, how do you feed him the ants normally? Um, so we don't actually feed him ants just because it's quite hard for getting those in um, to the amount that he would need to eat. Um, we give him a complete diet, uh, which is called Termant, um, specially formulated for um, giant anteaters. Uh, it contains all sorts of ingredients. It's a powder, we mix it with some water for him. He does quite like it if it's warm. Um, and it's got things like taurine in, so sort of meaty substances. Um, even yeast is in there as well. And he gets that twice a day, um, and again, sometimes we put that in a complex feeder for him, because it works really well for his tongue to be able to eat it. Um, we also give him, on a daily basis, um, bugs as well, so he gets crickets, and also locusts as well, um, which again, we try and conceal for him. Um, his eyesight isn't amazing, um, he's got quite small eyes in comparison to his nose, um, so his main sense is his sense of smell. So when we give him his bugs, we try and hide them, and then he has to really use a sense of smell to find them. Um, and then if we do it well enough, he has to kind of dig around in the logs um, to actually move them aside to get to the bugs. And he's got the claws, which you can see there. Um, they're about 10 centimetres in length, um, so he's quite powerful. Oh, let's see those um, claws. They are pretty impressive, actually, aren't they? Yeah. So totally you say he's powerful, are. but standing with him now, he seems quite he's, tame. He's really friendly. He's a really lovely character to work with. Um, very easy going, quite cheeky sometimes. Um, but yeah, he's really nice. Obviously, we don't go in with him just because he has got those strong, powerful claws. And as you can see, he's quite happy standing there on his hind feet. Um, they can stand quite high, um, it's one of their defence mechanisms, so if there's a predator in the wild, um, say a jaguar, they'll actually stand up on their hind legs, hey Ernie, and, mm -hmm. um, and then the claws are a kind of a defence mechanism really, so they can use them if they need to, but obviously yeah, we're, we're lucky to have a friendly Ernie, but uh, yeah, we just don't go in with him, <laughs> as you can tell it's a safe thing. <laughs> We're getting loads of comments here, Kat. People saying they've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> Thanks for educating everybody. I'm learning oh, lots no, too. <laughs> and you'll notice um, if you've been to Marwell before, and today we can only see Ernie here on his own in terms of our giant anteaters. Would that be quite normal in the wild? Yeah, quite normal. Um, they are generally quite solitary animals. Um, so the only time that you'll see um, two together would be a mum and her youngster. Um, actually, males and females are quite similar. Um, sometimes size is the only difference in them. So that kind of helps you to determine that it's actually a female that you're looking at because she's got a youngster and what the youngsters do is they um, ride along on the back um, and they can stay with mum for up to a year um, but they're fully weaned at um, two months old. Um, but yeah, he's perfectly happy on his own, um, perfectly natural for him and uh, he gets a lot of fuss from us anyway, and um, <laughs> he quite likes us, um, very keep orientated, and you 
And someone has asked, is that yoghurt or is it mashed white termites? It but is I think you answered that earlier. Yeah, <laughs> just plain yoghurt. Um, there is still some left. I think he's ready. Has he had enough? We might have had enough, but there's plenty in there. Ernie, get up. And just finally, Kat, we, we're here in the inside part of Ernie's enclosure, but he roams outside a lot as yeah, well. Yeah, he? he's got outside as well. There's areas for him to dig, which he loves to do. Um, obviously, with his claws, he digs around. And um, we give him logs and things as well, and there's some outside. And obviously, they've got sort of grubs and things in them, um, which, as and when he finds them, he'll uh, gobble those up quite happily, open up the logs. Um, and yeah, the other thing that he loves is a good shower, um, no matter what time of the year. And today he has had one, which is why he might look a little bit wet and glossy. Um, <laughs> Looking so, very smart for yeah, the cameras. He, uh, he lets us know when he wants a shower. He normally tips his water bowl over as a sign that he wants a shower and we literally just get the hose out on him and uh, just let him have a good scrub. Um, he loves doing his armpits and his tail. And sometimes it's up to about 15 minutes of bath time, which he yeah, absolutely loves. So, uh, Brilliant. We have had a couple of questions in, mm -hmm. actually, Kat. I don't know if you can answer this one. How long would an anteater normally live for? How old do they uh, get to? In the wild, it's estimated about 14 years. Obviously, in captivity, you've got um, the chance, well, it's going to be a little bit longer. You've got veterinary care. Obviously, he's got food and water every day. He doesn't have to worry about going and finding it. Um, so, yeah, about 14 in the wild is what they estimate. Thank you very much. Well, I think Ernie's gone for a little snooze after <laughs> I think he might his have. treat. So thank you very much for showing us um, how you feed him the yoghurt <laughs> and Not telling us loads of interesting facts about our giant anteaters. Thank you, Kat. We'll just leave you with a shot of Ernie in his enclosure. <laughs>